Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the Amazon Fire TV remote app. So you can take full control of your Fire Stick with your Android phone and control and move around the different menus. Coming up next on Your6 Studios. Okay, the first thing we are gonna to need to do is go ahead and get the app. So let's go to the Play Store or the Apple Store. So let's go ahead and select it. And we are gonna to wanna to type in Amazon Fire TV and install this application onto our phone. And I already have it installed. So I'm just gonna select open. So let's go ahead and open the app right now. And make sure you have Wi-Fi enabled on your phone. Select the Wi-Fi option at the top bar right here and make sure that's on and make sure your Amazon Fire Stick is also connected to your Wi-Fi network. And this is a rather basic app. As you can see, it's just a plain background. And from here, you can actually swipe and use the different options on here. And it will control your Amazon Fire Stick completely. So let's switch over to my different screen here. And you can see I can actually move around the different menus with this application. I can go to the Home button. And one of the most convenient things on here, I think, is the keyboard option and the ability to go to the voice search right away. So let's try out the voice search function at the top right here, just like you would on your Amazon Fire Stick remote. So let's pull down and say John Wick. And to show you how easy it is to use the keyboard function on here, let's swipe over to the search bar right here and press the keyboard. All right, so I typed in John Wick and it came up. Let's go ahead and press the done button and scroll down on our phone and let's go to John Wick. Well, let's go to John Wick number one here and just select that. And you'll see the different options for John Wick. Uh, we can go ahead and select it with the application right here and it will give you different renting options and if you want to buy it. Let's press the home button and go back. So you have your voice command, you have your keyboard for quick typing, that's very convenient. Also on the right hand side, right next to the keyboard, you can select this and it'll show all your different applications you have on your phone. So let's go ahead and select one of my applications. Uh, let's go to the YouTube app and it'll just instantly pop that up once you select it from uh, the Amazon Fire TV remote app. This is great if you lost your remote or if your remote is broken at the time, you can just use this application until you get a new remote. And on the top bar to the left of the microphone, you have the settings tab. If you press settings, it just goes to the settings section and then you can just swipe right and go through the different options on here. Then if you need to select a new device, the far left option will show you all the available devices on your Wi-Fi network. Right here is mine, the Lord's Fire TV, and your phone will vibrate a little bit when it connects. So it's a rather basic app. However, anytime you wanna type something in, it's very convenient to have the keyboard with it. And the swiping feels really good too. It's a natural feel to it, and it probably feels a little bit better than the actual remote. So try out the Amazon Fire TV remote app. I actually really enjoy this application. It's very basic, and you have the option for the keyboard, which makes everything much more quicker and convenient when you're typing anything in. I love the swiping feel on my Android phone, and it's very easy to get on the Google Play Store or the Apple Store, and it's 100% free. So make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on on your phone, and if this video helped you out, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And check out some of my other videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.